All right, um, we'll open the meeting at uh, 608. <clears throat> and um, this meeting is pursuant to the, um, for the order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law. It is open to the public. The, this link was posted um, for the public to join. Uh, they could join either via phone or video. And um, I am recording it and it will be kept in case anyone wants to uh, view it. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to be kept or where, but I figured I would record it anyway since we have that ability. Um, so, appointments. I, I did think that the public health nurse was coming to the meeting to give an update. If not, by the time we get down, um, I do have something in writing that we can read. Um, so the approved uh, minutes of March 16th, we have gone over them. And uh, is there anybody? I'll make motion a made to accept, accept the motions, the meeting minutes. All right, I'll second that. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Christy? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Zero. Good. Um, all right. Um, we have a housing health agent update. Um, okay, it's been pretty quiet. Um, uh, Steve um, had confirmed for me probably a couple of weeks ago now, Steve, that 523 Hadley Road had sold. And I did see it in the uh, recorded in the paper as well. So um, I happened to be speaking to uh, attorney Jeff Blake today on another matter. And he asked about 523. So he'll dismiss every all the other little contingencies on that case, since it's sold. Great. Um, and that's number one. And then the second thing is today I signed an affidavit that uh, Jeff Blake had, had written up. And so did Danielle La um, Desaunier's from 370 <clears throat> Road, the Pond Ridge condos. So we are going to try to get an administrative search warrant to see if they have a functioning toilet in that, in unit J. Okay. So we just did that today. And that's about it. Okay, how do you think uh, that's gonna go over with the judge? Um, well, Jeff Blake said that, you know, he's been doing all his hearings um, over the telephone and that this would likely obviously be over the telephone too. And he, I think at first he thought it was sort of a low bar, but with Danielle's affidavit, it stepped it up because it's a firsthand accounting. Okay. So he feels a little more sure about it. Okay, good. All right. Um, trying to think if anything else came in. <clears throat> um, is there anything, uh, anything else for, uh, not, not that I'm aware of for me, I have a couple of, well, I have one reinspection that I'm kind of putting off because I don't want to, you know, the Board of Health came and gave us COVID, so. Yeah, that, no, okay. right. Yeah. That's about it. Okay. And we haven't heard any, well, yeah, we're not really going to do much with any of the 
big complexes. Right. At the moment. Okay. Um, all right. Um, all right, so then we'll move to, uh, we'll move over to the health agent update. I, uh, you're feeling better, a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling better. The um, I started doing septic inspections last Saturday. Um, this week is fairly busy. I've got perk tests and septic inspections scheduled. And uh, also I have, um, oh, I, I'm not sure of the timing, but I stopped in all of the restaurant. Um, convenience stores to make sure they're not having anything that's self-serve. Okay. Uh, and I will go back to verify that. We did have one complaint about uh, somebody who had bought a couple sandwiches from yes. the subway and there were quote bugs in the sandwiches and I've left two or three messages with the person who was complaining and she never got back to me. So really um, that message sounded, she sounded upset. Well, she never returned any of my calls. Okay. So, um, at some point I will sometime in the very near future, I'll stop by subway as well as any of the other places that are operating. We did get one application to operate the pool at Cliffside and said, uh, you know, no pools are gonna be open or nothing's gonna be running until uh, the state uh, lets us all out of uh, whatever we're in quarantine, shut down, whatnot. But uh, that's about it for what's going on with me. Okay. So it looks like we're on to COVID-19. Um, I think the public health nurse, did she send out to everybody? I don't know. I'm going to text her right now and see if she's going to join us, if that's all right. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay. I got, I got her synopsis of last week's um, Public Health Board of Health, local Board of Health conference call. Yes, that's that's what I have from Cheryl. Let's see, that is the talking points from this um, community tracing collaborative. Yep. Yeah, I do have that. Um, so I can also tell you that um, we did get a public health nurse grant. Um, you know, it kind of fell in my lap. They sent me an email. <laughs> um, oh, good. They sent me an email and to fill out a survey for what we need. And, um, you know, I pretty hastily put that together. Um, and uh, asked for somewhere around $7,800 or so. And uh, so we got our first uh, disbursement in very quickly. And um, to let, me, let you know, um, uh, the grant balance, so far as, uh, so we got, we, I think we got, let me say 30, I think we got 2,500 and we're, then we're going to ask for another 3,500. Um, we got the 2,500 immediately or 3,500 immediately. Um, and, uh, we're down to about $900. Um, and, uh, So um, we are, we're doing really well. And uh, they, they said, we just, as long as we keep an accounting of that it's being used for the COVID um, response, it, it's 
going to be covered by this grant because our, you know, we contracted with the public health nurse <laughs> um, and uh, did not expect these hours. Mm -hmm. You know, what she is mm -hmm. doing is mm -hmm. checking Maven daily, she's following the cases, she is doing the contact tracing for us. She can do it because we don't have very many cases. Now, what was the total? What was the total of the grant? Um, well, it's we around seventy eight hundred dollars, but we can ask for more. Um, it's, okay. We just need to do the accounting that it is for the public health nurse for COVID nineteen. So. Um, you know, and they have quite a bit for our area, which was nice. It's being administered by the FERCOG. Mm -hmm. It's uh -huh. not, it's not coming from the FERCOG, but, and uh, hello, town administrator. Hi. Uh, um, yes. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. I'm having some trouble with Zoom. It's not letting me start the select board meeting, and I'm not sure why, but you're the host of this. Um, Sorry, I know. <laughs> Do you think it's because I'm on the account? No, but I, you have a, a separate license, so it shouldn't be an issue. So I'm not sure what the problem is. Um, we wouldn't want the Board of Health holding up the select board meeting. <laughs> um, I, this worked fine last week. We had two simultaneous meetings, so I'm not sure why it's an issue today. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, let me try and leave and uh, try it again. Sorry. Okay. What was the uh, uh, count right now for cases of confirmed coronavirus in, in Sunderland? It it's six, two uh, moved. It's, uh, well, six active? That was the count that Cheryl reported. Um, Eight confirmed cases, six residents, two moved. Cases were transferred to the correct towns. They were not part of our town. Oh, thank you, Christy. Thank you, Christy. And then out of those three of the residents, each had one contact for a total of three contact tracing. And we're down to one resident in isolation until Tuesday, April 28th. Perfect. So did she answer you, Steve? I haven't heard anything back from her. Nothing yet. Okay. I sent her the meeting numbers as well, so. All right, well, um, Does anyone else have anything to add? This is just a little bit different. Well, I want to thank the board members for, you know, filling me in on the, the details. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. So um, I guess I can, I can read her Sunderland PHN nurse report, okay? Um, so she, um, 
So as uh, Christy just said, uh, case number is March 1st. So it's March 1st to April 24th. Um, eight, so eight confirmed cases, six residents, two have moved. Three of the residents each had one contact total. One resident in isolation until Tuesday, April 28th. Uh, so, um, Friday, she has her trainings and meetings on Friday, March 20th. Uh, she had a weekly Navy, Maven query conference call discussion. They're transitioning from preparedness phase to the response phase with implementation of a 14 day isolation quarantine. Um, she's the Maven access training process for local boards of health and the state's authorized to conduct testing and confirm positive casing, cases and testing availability and clinical diagnoses. So that's what they're discussing in the conference call. Um, she did a webinar, a local board of health webinar. Uh, she also on Friday, April 10th, uh, she did a 50 state conference call to discuss best practices for retail food establishments and food delivery. And then on April 21st, the Community Tracing Collaborative, CTC. Uh, and that was a collaborative between the Mass, Mass uh, DPH and Partners in Health to assist with contact tracing. She said that was a very good conference call. And she had a second um, email that she distributed to the I believe both, uh, both of our inspectors about that conference call. So uh, she's been uh, doing a, a lot for the, uh, for the response in our town. Um, I can't answer any questions that we would have for the uh, public health nurse, but that was her report. Caitlin. For March and April. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, I don't know what's going on, but apparently I know that <laughs> Zoom had changed some things. Um, I don't know if this is one of them, but. Um, uh, well, you know what? We are, we've just pretty much hit our end. Okay. So um, we're going to do the next board of health meeting and then we're going to wrap it up. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Thank you, and and I apologize. No, that's it. We're I'm gonna just gonna say, stay in here so that I know when to when I can start the next one. Yep. Um, so next board of health meeting, guys, um, in May. What do calendars look like? I'm open. From your living rooms or wherever, my basement. May 18th look okay? Sounds good to me. Yep. Christy? I think I'm officially done for May. Oh, are you you're on, the on-call person? Oh, you're done? We haven't had the election. The election isn't going to be happening, though. Right. So are you still done? Are you twisting my arm? Come on. Yes, we are. No, we're actually we pleading with you. Until at least the election? We'll, we'll see where my schedule is at that point. That's a long oh. way away, but That's I've got it written down. Well, you know, because we don't have, well, we won't have a quorum. So we won't have a board of health meeting. So, because we won't have a new elected person. So if you could. Mm hmm or else we just, we won't have a meeting. Um, and then we'll figure out what to do. I, I, I will let I, you know as my schedule continues to evolve at work. Because okay. I continue to, oh. as you know, report every day. Yeah. And I've not had um, time off. So we'll oh, see. I, we'll see how yeah. I feel at that point on May 18th. <laughs> no, I understand. Well, uh, we'd appreciate, I would appreciate if you, you could possibly do it if you can that. so like okay. if you can 
figure it out and I'll talk to the town administrator. We'll figure out what to do. Um, and uh, if we don't have a meeting, we don't have a meeting. I mean, we're not, we'll still function as a board of health. We'll just figure out what to do. All right, so for now, we'll put it down as May 18th. And um, anyone want to make a motion? There is a uh, motion. Uh, oh, can oh, I? Uh, yes. There's one more Go bit. Ahead, of Steve. There's one more bit of information I forgot to include, and that is uh, down on Route 47, the Tanner residence, where there was an oil spill. Yes. Inside, um, they're still testing the drinking water weekly, uh, with no impacts. They still haven't found the oil because they can't seem to get. Um, drillers and out there to to work but so far there's been no impact to human health or safety and we don't know yet about the environment but that's ongoing okay. is, is is that the house um up on north main street or montague road montague road oh okay thank you very much steve you're welcome thank you all right all right, do we have a motion? Motion so to close the meeting. All right, I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, three zero. Thank you guys. And before every everybody hangs up, uh, please stay healthy and stay safe, please. Everybody. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're Thanks. welcome. Thanks,